Good afternoon. This is Elizabeth Griffin, your indie author from South Philadelphia, reporting from the Romance Writers of America Virtual 2021 Conference. And uh, today, Friday, has been just as moving and just as encouraging as yesterday. I'm realizing as I go to the different workshops and listen to the different presenters that there seems to be an overarching uh, theme in, in all of the, the workshops. And it's a subtle uh, theme, but I, I'd like to present it to you. So in, in a lot of the workshops, I'm hearing things uh, like planning, uh, creating a year long calendar, uh, deciding what your catalog of books are going to be that you're going to produce, um, understanding your capabilities, how many words you can uh, type out or generate in a day, in a week, in a month, and then using all of that information to successfully project uh, your release dates for your books. So I, I like the fact that I'm getting strategic, concrete information that can help me to get to my final goal. And I realized in listening to the different presenters that there was a part of me deep down inside that was starting to get uh, burnt out and starting to feel like, I love doing this. I, I'm excited about it, but I just don't see the payoff. And, and now I'm realizing that I need to change something strategically so that I can get what I want. And I have to be just as um, uh, methodical in my writing process as in my business process, as in releasing my books and promoting my books and the time management. How much time do I spend on my different social media platforms? How much time do I spend in writing? How much time do I spend in promoting and in doing all those other things? So in going to this conference and listening to the different presenters, I'm realizing that, okay, I need to manage my time in a way that is, um, uh, that will yield the best results and will be the, um, give me the optimal, uh, output of what I want. So I say this to you, stay encouraged, create a plan, uh, understand why you want what you want, understand the motivating factors behind it, and then think about how you strategically can get what you want. And, uh, one thing that I'm seriously thinking about after looking at all the different, um, commentators and I'll be going back today and then I also be, will be participating tomorrow Saturday which will be the final day of the conference but I'm seriously thinking about writing a a series of books four books uh and they would be the ones we we've talked about uh this ain't love um this ain't real I was thinking about creating one this ain't right and another one this ain't pain and so that would be four books uh, evolving around the twins that I talked about. And um, I'm thinking, write them all, ed edit them all, make sure that the editing is as crisp as possible. So I'm going to give the editing process over to my daughter and let her do her thing. And then she'll give it back to me and I'll read over it a couple of times. And then I'll also will use grammar link and I'll use uh, Microsoft to check the grammar and the spelling because I want to make it as crisp and clean as possible because I'm hearing that, um, readers on Amazon have the ability now, which I didn't know to flag a book if it has too many errors in it. And I thought, hmm, that's going to be <laughs> very interesting because as indie authors, we're not perfect and uh, we can uh, publish something that has some errors in it. So it just reinforced hearing that bit of information about Amazon and the readers. It just reinforced that I need to have as crisp and clean a copy as I can upload on, on Amazon and to take my time and to not rush chasing after that dollar because I'm realizing that if I put out a good product, if I put out a product consistently, uh, I will eventually get the readers and I won't disappoint. And another thing I was thinking is give my daughter the manuscript to edit, give my son the, the arts, the cover art or the stock art, the photograph and ha let him design my cover. And then in addition to that, uh, think about improving my method of writing. And so one of the, the, the presenters mentioned a, a book called Romancing the Beat, which uh, shows you in romance writing that there are certain beats that readers expect you to hit. And if you disappoint, they're not going to be happy. So 
I'm thinking about reacquainting myself with the technical aspect of hitting all of those beats to satisfy all of the reader's cravings and to have them come back for more. So I want a crisp quality product and I want to continually do that. So these are some of the things that I've learned in going to the different uh, presenters and the different workshops. And um, I will share more with you, but um, love, peace, joy, and happiness as always. And until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>